hello students welcome back to hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem which says that determine the resultant internal loadings acting on the section AA and section BB each section pass through the center line at point C so we are asked to find the internal loading on the cross section through AA and on the section uh, BB and the cutting section pass through this point C to the center line of this beam. So first of all we have to find uh, since uh, I'm going to consider this BC segment for finding the internal loadings so for that we must find the support reactions at point B. There's no need to find the support reactions at A but we must find the support reactions at B since we are going to consider this particular section. So for to find the support reaction at B, we must consider the whole beam and we must draw the uh, support reaction. So uh, since at B we have the roller support, so we will have only uh, horizontal reaction force. So we will have Bx in this direction. We will have Bx and at A we will have two support reactions. So we will have Ax and we will have Ay. So to find um, Bx, we must apply the sum of the moment about point A that must be equal to zero. Counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive. So now as we can see that uh, this Bx is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point A. So we will write Bx and the moment arm of this Bx from that point A is this distance this distance this is the moment arm so we must find that distance which will be equal to the length this length of the beam and this beam is making 45 degree this is given here that this is making 45 degrees so if we consider a triangle like this right angle triangle then this one will be the will be equal to the sine component of the length of the beam so we can say that the length of the beam is 3 plus 3 so 6 so this perpendicular distance will be 6 sine of 45. So Bx into 6 sine of 45. And Bx is producing the counterclockwise moment. So this is positive. Now this 5 kN force is producing the clockwise moment. So you will write minus 5. And the perpendicular distance of this 5 kN force from that point A is this distance. This is perpendicular, remember. So this is 3 plus 1.5 so this is 4.5 so 4.5 this is equal to 0 so bx is equal to plus 5 into 4.5 divided by 6 sine of 45 so from this we can say that bx is equal to 5 into 4.5 divided by 6 sine of 45 so this gives me 5.30 so 5.30 kilonewton since that given force is in kilonewton so this bx must be in kilonewton so bx is 5.30 kilonewton now once we find this bx then we we must consider bc segment and first i am going to solve for section aa so we will pass a cutting section we will cut the beam along section AA and then we will consider the free body diagram. So let's say, let's say this is my, now let me remove this BB section. So, so now this will be our free body diagram and, and at C, this is that point C, we will have let's say NC, normal internal loading NC, we will have VC, the shear force, and let's say we have the bending moment. So the bending moment is let's say MC. Now we want to find NC, MC and VC considering section AA. Uh, let's say that this is, uh, let me write instead of NC we must write that this is N let's say this is NAA let me write them as NAA 
M A A and V A A. So now let's say that this is my positive x along the center line of the beam is my positive x and let's say that perpendicular to the beam is our positive y let's say this is our positive y so now if we apply the sum of the forces in the x so the sum of the forces in the x must be equals to 0 and this is our positive x direction now this and a a is in the positive x so we will write that plus and a and there is bx as well right so here we have that bx remember that at b we have that bx so now we must resolve this bx uh, along the x and y we must resolve this bx because this bx is horizontal so our x-axis is oriented in this direction so now as you guys can see that um, this is this beam the center line of the beam along which the x-axis is is making 45 degrees here we have 45 degree angle so this means that if if this is horizontal this is parallel to this line and this x-axis is passing through the center line then this angle is 45 so bx is making 45 degree angle here so we can say that this is 45 degree now bx will have two components bx will have one component in this direction and it will have one component in this direction let me draw it like this this one is like this so now we can say that since bx is 5.3 kilonewton so this component is 5.3 cos of 45 and this is 5.3 sine of 45 so we can say that this component is 5.3 cos of 45 and this one is 5.3 sine of 45 so now if we apply the sum of the forces in the x that must be equals to 0 now we have this and a a in the positive x and this 5.3 cos of 45 in the negative x so we will write that minus and this is equal to 0 and from this we can say that n a a is equal to plus 5.3 cos of 45 so 5.3 cos of 45 this gives me 3.75 approximately so 3.75 kilonewton and this is in the positive x direction and a a this is in this direction which is making 45 degrees Similarly, if we apply the sum of the forces in the y, that must be equals to 0 and this direction is positive y. So, VAA is in the positive y. VAA. VAA is in the positive y. This 5 kilonewton is in the negative y. So, we will write minus 5 kilonewton and this sine component is in the positive y as well. So, we will write plus 5.3 sine of 45. So this is equal to 0. So from this we can say that VAA is equal to plus 5 minus 5.3 sine of 45 degrees. So this is equal to. So now VAA is equal to 1.25. This is VAA is equal to 1.25 kilonewton. And it is acting in the positive direction. Since we got the positive sign, it is acting in the positive y. Similarly, to find MAA, we must apply the sum of the moment about point C that must be equal to 0. Counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive. Now, MAA is, we have assumed that MAA is in the clockwise direction. So, you will write minus MAA. And this 5 kN force is producing the clockwise moment. So, I will write minus 5. And the perpendicular distance of this 5 kN force from that point C is this distance, which is 1.5. So multiply with 1.5. And similarly, this component is passing through that point C. So its moment arm is 0 from that point C. It's not going to produce the moment. And this component is producing the counterclockwise moment. So you will write plus 5.3 sine of 45 multiply by the perpendicular distance or the moment arm which is 3 meters so multiply with 3 this is equal to 0 so if I bring this to the other side of equation we will be left with this so we can say that MAA is equal to 
um, minus 5 into 1.5 plus 5.3 sine of 45 multiply by 3 this gives me 3.74 kilonewton meter and since we got the positive signs this means that the assumed direction is accurate and AA is in the clockwise direction so we can say that this is in the clockwise direction now we must find the internal loadings through the cross section BB right so let's consider the free body diagram for free body diagram for that so again at B we will have that um, BX which is 5.3 kilonewton and then I must uh, consider PC section but I must pass the cutting section through BB So now this is our free body diagram and now we will have uh, the normal force let's say let's say we have NBB here now NBB must be perpendicular to this cutting section right and we will have VBB let's say this is VBB and we have the bending moment so the bending moment is let's say in the clockwise direction so this is mbb so now we must find these uh, internal loadings uh, through section bb so this is our free body diagram now now as you guys can see that uh, this bx is parallel to this nbb so now we need to resolve this 5 kN force into its components so as you, this the center line of this beam is making 45 degree angle here so if you draw a line here this is 45 degree angle as well so let's say that this is this angle is 45 so now we can resolve this uh, 5 kN force into its components so we will have one component in this direction and we will have one component in this direction so this one is this one is the cost component this one is the sine component so let me write that this is 5 sine of 45 this is in kilonewton and this is 5 cos of 45 degrees so now to find the int uh, internal loadings through section bb again we have to apply the equilibrium condition so if i apply the sum of the forces in the x that must be equals to zero towards the right is our positive x now this is our positive x and positive y this is positive x and positive y so now nbb is in the negative x so we will write minus nbb and we have this cost component in the positive x so you will write plus 5 cos of 45 degrees and this bx is in the negative uh, in the negative x so you will write minus 5.3 this is equal to 0 so we can say that if I bring this uh, NBV to the other side of equation so NBV will be equal to this so we can say that NBV is equal to 5 cos of 45 minus 5.3 so 5 cos of 45 minus 5.3 this gives me minus 1.76 minus 1.76 kilonewton similarly if we apply the sum of the forces in the y that must be equal to zero now the negative sign tells us this and bb is in the opposite direction that is in the uh, positive x so this is 1.76 kilonewton and it is in the positive x similarly if we apply the sum of the forces in the y that must be equal to zero upward direction is considered to be positive uh, so we have VBB in the positive Y so we have plus VBB and we have this sine component in the negative Y so minus 5 sine of 45 this is equal to 0 so we can say that VBB is 5 sine of 45 so this is equal to 3.54 VBB is equal to 3.54 kilonewton and since we got the positive sign then uh, this means that VBB is acting in the 
positive y direction. Similarly, to find MBB, we must apply the sum of the moment about point C equals to zero. Counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive. Now we have we have assumed that MBB is in the clockwise direction, so we will write minus MBB. And instead of considering the components, I'm going to consider this five kilonewton force because it, we are given this perpendicular distance. So this five kilonewton force is producing the clockwise moment, so we will write minus five and the moment arm of this 5 kilonewton force on that point C is this 1.5 so we'll multiply this with 1.5 and this Bx is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point C so you'll write plus and 5.3 kilonewton and the perpendicular distance of this Bx from that point C is this distance this distance so this distance is again this is 3 and this is making 45 degrees. So 3 sine of 45 is the perpendicular distance of this B from that point C. So we will write 3 sine of 45. This is equal to 0. So now if you bring this to the other side of the equation, we will be left with this. So we can say that MBB is equal to minus 5 into 1.5 plus 5.3 into 3 sine of 45. So this gives me 3.74 so 3.74 kilonewton meter and we got the positive sign so this means that the MBV is in the clockwise direction so this is the solution of this particular problem I hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe Ingenious Academy for the solution of such more problems from mechanics of materials by RC Hibler